What's up guys, Aaron Productions here and today we're going to be doing a video on how to program the MS-10 UD slash 5 UD. Okay guys, so let's get started. First thing you need to do is go and hit mode on your panel. Um, you can choose through any of these. Um, read status mode. Um, basically, it tells you um, what the status is of all your devices. Um, it tells you what they are, of course, and um, if they're normal, if they have troubles and stuff like that. Um, programming mode, we'll get into that in a second. Future use, um, I'm not going to get into that though, because it's kind of confusing. Remote download, um, you have to enter the um, password. Um, for remote downloading, or I forget if it's the programming password. Um, that basically is the same thing, except you use the um, port over here, and you program it from the computer. You could do an update or whatever. So let's get into programming mode, which you'll be using, of course, all the time. Um, usual code is 0000, um, but I have a special code. Here you can choose um, whatever you want for your input zones, so let's get into that. We'll do it for zone one. Of course, this panel has 10 zones, but I don't need to go into all of them because you could, they all have the same menu. Um, as you can see here, it would just say normal pull station if nothing um, was there. And this was a new panel. I have everything labeled. You can choose if it's enabled, yes or no. Um, you could choose what type it is. Pole station, water flow, water flow NS, uh, I'm not sure what NS means. Combo, combo, auto resettable supervisory, 2R detector, normally open contact, um, fire, tamper, supervisory, supervisory, auto resettable, medical alert, hazard alert, tornado alert, um, process mon monitor, I don't know what that means. Um, um, process monitor. Auto resettable, AC loss monitor, acknowledge switch, silent switch, drill switch, reset switch, um, P PAS bypass. So, like, if you have the zone set up for um, verification, you could bypass that. Drill switch, auto resettable. Okay. Um, you could choose verification or not. Um, there's your pre-signals and PAS. Let's go into NAC. So I'm going to do NAC1 as an example. Um, enabled, yes, no. Um, oops. Coding. Steady, March time, California. Temporal, two, um, two stage, three minute, two stage, five minute. Uh, sync system sensor, sync wheel lock, sync gentex, sync faraday, sync amsico. Silence, non silenceable, you can set that to be silenceable or not. Sync mute will do two hour silence, similar to what the MS2 and MS4 do. Auto silence, that'll silence it after like 20 minutes or something. Silence inhibited. Uh, inhibited. Okay. Those are the NAX relays, of course. You could choose what they are. Um, alarm trouble, supervisory, process monitor, AC loss, hazard, communication fail, um, medical silenceable alarm, and that's it. System setup. You have the timers, banner, time and date, um, timers, PAS delay. That's how long you set it for. Um, banner to you already know mine. Okay. And then time and date, of course. Set the time and date here. You just hit one, two, or um, three to change those times. And then let's say change that. You just have to put in like zero, six, 36 p.m. Okay. Um, option modules, AN and 80, and the um, dialer on this. I obviously have this enabled because one, I have um, an 
um, and an AD enunciator. So, um, bus modules to A and an AD. You could have more than one auto configure, um, A and N. Uh, options, I don't know, and then any options, see, I can enable and disable the piezo lock, acknowledge button, um, silence button, reset button, drill button, etc. So I could disable or enable any of those. Onboard DAT or dialer, I could set all that stuff, I'm not going to go into that because I want to set up the dialer, oops, re-enter my password. Um, history, of course, that'll show you all the history, view events, all alarms, all that stuff. You can just look through those, and you can also erase the history. Uh, walk test, if you hit that, it'll put the, um, you know, to walk test clear program, it'll clear it. Um, password change, of course, that means that, um, I could go in here and change my password. Let's say you had this, um, Default 000, you can put your own custom password in there. So, yeah, that's basically it for the programming of the MS2. And after you're done, you can either hit the reset button or escape all the way out. And then it'll say reset in system. And then, as long as you have no troubles, it'll go back to the normal state. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Peace out.